up YouTube? This is Zay Parsh. Um, I'm gonna do a little video of installing a ChargePoint 32 amp uh, electric car charger in my garage. Uh, my wife just got a uh, Volvo XC90 T8, so it's a hybrid. Um, it's kind of a crazy car. It's supercharged, turbocharged, four cylinder with electric. So there's four different source, well, there we go. Four different sources of power. It's kind of crazy. Supercharged, turbocharged, motor, and electric. Um, she had a Tesla Model S for about six years, and her carpool stickers expired um, starting in, I guess, next week. First of the year, they'll be expired. So um, she saves about two hours of drive. She drives all the way up to Los Angeles from San Diego, and it's a lot of driving. So um, the stickers are kind of a big deal. She was kind of ready for a new car anyway. Uh, since we have two kids now, but um, yeah, why don't we take a look at the different setup here? So this is this is a little bit different. There's some interesting things for people that have an XC90 T8. If you're thinking about getting one, about the charging, especially if you're coming from like a Tesla or something else like that. So this is a NEMA. Um, I believe that's a. It's either a six dash fifty or fourteen dash fifty receptacle. Basically a wall, uh, a plug, basically for your uh, charging cable, and uh, it's either a six or a fourteen. The only difference between the two of them is there's like a, a neutral or something like that, which you don't really need if you're doing thirty two amp. I think it's only if you're doing fifty amp that you need it. Um, and her Tesla was fifty amp, and the cable that came with it did fifty amp. But this Volvo came with the worst charger I've ever seen. So it's right here. Um, so this turbo cord dual. It says it does 240 volt and 120 volt, um, but the, the two, I mean, look how thin. This is just a, this is just a really thin cable here, and it probably, I think it says it's only like 12 amp, so even if you're connected to the weird like two, 240 volt um, connection that it came with, which I'll show you. It came with this guy, it's like an adapter. And that's like a dryer outlet, I believe. Um, so if you have a dryer outlet available, you can plug this into that and you can get 240 volt, which is nice because it's cheaper. Um, I believe it's something like half as expensive to use 240 volt instead of 120 volt. Um, but the amperage on that is just not good. So it's still gonna take a long time to charge. I think it said something like seven hours. Um, and for us, we get better electric electricity rates uh, during the middle of the night between, I think, midnight and like 5 a.m. So with a 32 amp, you can charge the whole car in two hours versus the seven hours. And it'll be just everything will be cheaper. It, it ends up even though we're spending money um, on the charge point that I'm going to be installing. It's nicer and it saves money on electricity down the road, which is going to add up a lot over time. So anyway, so she's plugged in right here, as you can see with this stock, the, the cable that came with the Volvo that only does like 12 amp and it's just on a regular 120 wall outlet right now, just temporarily cause we just got it and it didn't come with what we needed. So um, here is the two boxes that came with the charge point. I don't know which model this is. Let's see if it says it on the box. Uh, I don't really know what that is. It just says uh, CPH25 cord dash L25. Um, but here's what here's what's in those boxes. So this is the the cable that plugs into the wall, or sorry, into the car from the uh, from the box, whatever you want to call it. And then this is this is the the box, I guess you is what I I'm just calling it a box. Um, so I've already kind of looked through this stuff a little bit, and the big difference between this and some of the other options that were cheaper is that um, this just first of all it looks a lot better. It mounts to the wall, so you have a, like a home for it to like dock onto, um, kind of like a holster. And so it does look a lot cleaner. It's a lot more organized. But another big feature is it's Wi-Fi enabled, so you can uh, download an app and connect to it, and you can tell the the charger which hours you want the charger to charge your car. Um, so if you're like us and you get better rates in the middle of the night starting at midnight, you can tell the charger to start charging at that time. I believe this card does not let you do that on its own. Her Tesla did. Um, you could just tell the Tesla don't start charging until midnight, which was great. 
we didn't need to have a fancy charge point charger to do that. Um, but our understanding with this Volvo is they're just not kind of up to the same standards as Tesla with a lot of the stuff, the technology. So, but it's a great car. We love, we love it. Um, all right. So basically what you do with this kit, and I'll just kind of show you what you, I'm not going to, I'm not going to videotape the whole thing of installing it. Sorry. If that's what you're expecting, it shouldn't be too difficult. I'll, I'll show you before and after and what's in the kit. So I already showed you the cable and it's definitely very heavy duty. You can see that if you can see that that's a lot thicker than the other cable I just showed you that came with the Volvo. Um, and then this is the box. This is just like a, a face plate, but this is the box here that hangs on the wall. And it looks like it's not as easy as I was thinking it was going to be to do. Um, because the charging cable, as you can see here, is actually bare wires. So, I mean, that's probably only going to take an extra five minutes for me. For some people, I think this would get very confusing but I think it's just a little bit extra work. It's not already plugged in. Um, I would have liked it if it was already connected. It, just seems kind of, it seems kind of silly to me. I'm sure there's a reason. Um, this is really nice. This is the mounting kit and it comes with tools, which is very unusual. Most companies don't give you tools. So this is a uh, you know drill attachment um, and this is a drill bit for drilling the hole, pilot hole. So that's just like, you know, probably only cost them a couple bucks to do that. And it's a really nice touch. Um, but here's my next complaint. So this is the the main um, housing unit or whatever you want to call it. And this is how long the cord is that comes off of it. I wouldn't, I would have bought an extension cable or I would have looked at other options other than this brand if I would have known. The extension cables are like another, from what I've seen, it's going to be like another 70 bucks to get an extension cable. Um, so what my options are here is I can either mount mount the box like right here next to the, the receptacle and then we would be hanging up the cord like right here and then take it off and then walk it over to here to plug it in every time. Um, or if I got the extension cable, I could mount it like right here on the wall, run the extension cable down the wall so the the outlet and then every time you charge you just if it was right here you just grab it off the wall and you turn around and you plug it right in and that's that was originally what I wanted to do because I think that makes a lot more sense but um, I'm gonna think about which one I'm gonna do and when we come back um, when it's installed I guess you'll see what I decided to do and I might just <laughs> I might just install it right here for today and change my mind later and uh, patch the holes and move it back over to here later. So I'll, I'll probably do that. See you in a minute. All right, so a day has passed uh, since I started the video footage you saw so far. And uh, the big issue that I ran into here is that this receptacle we have from my wife's Tesla is a NEMA uh, 14-50R and the width of these two outer plugs on the outside are a lot wider than the width of the NEMA 6-50 which is what comes on this um, charge point charger so I had to go do some research into am I keeping this or returning this is there another charge point charger that has the 14-50R uh, receptacle or uh, outlet or the cable? Cable is the right word. Um, out there, is there something out there on the market that is similar to this? Um, the, and so the only thing I found was something called the juice box. And, uh, and it would have served our purpose. We would have had to return this and get the juice box. But um, I didn't like the way it looked as much, which is really stupid to say. Like, I totally understand that's stupid, but um, this just looks so much cleaner in your garage and it's still gonna do the same job and I don't really need um, the the stuff that the juice box, the, the difference between having the, the juice box with the uh, 1450 versus this with the 650, for her specific car, her Volvo, it's not really a big deal. Um, it's like, 
I think the juice box can do 40 amps and this only does 32. And uh, it's, it's really not a significant difference, especially considering that her Volvo only has something like an 18 mile range on the battery. It's a, it's, it's a stupid battery almost. Um, anyway, so I'm just throwing this up on the wall now. Um, so I just drilled, now I use my uh, uh, stud finder, magnetic stud finder, found the stud in the wall here, drilled my first hole. Um, going to stick this screw into the hole um, and then secure the charge point to the wall and uh, and yep I'll stop the video I'll do that and come right back alright so we've got this up on the wall now and uh, all I need to do is put two more screws in um, right there in those two holes and this will be securely mounted to the wall and then I just need to put the charging um, cable into these four wire screw fasteners. I don't know what you call those. They look like fasteners or something like that to me. Um, so I'll do that now. Okay, so we've got the two screws that secured. This box is now very secure on the wall. Um, so I've got the charging cable that needs to be wired. There's a cable clip that needs to be removed. So I'm doing that right now. Sorry for the bad camera work. Okay, so the cable clip is out. And then what I need to do is feed it through that hole right there. And then wiring it is extremely simple. You can see here the wires are color coded. There's a blue on the right and there's a green on the left. And if you look at the terminals, there's a blue on the right and a green on the left. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. Um, and I need my hand to do it, so I will be right back. All right, so I had removed the cable clip. I fed the wires right here through the hole. It just fits in only one way, which is really easy. Um, and then I fed the wires through the terminal holes and I, these little switch guys right here, you just flip them down and they lock in place. So this is all wired and ready to go, ready to charge, kind of. Um, but what you want to do next is you take uh, the door, the cover door, whatever you want to call it. This needs to go into place. And we need to lock it. I think I'm going to actually need a screwdriver for that. So I'll grab a screwdriver. Over here to the screwdrivers. All right, so that's locked. Um, we have the faceplate here. Oops, sorry. Faceplate goes over to make it look pretty. And that, my friends, is a finished installation, kind of. Now, here's where why I say kind of. My installation is not done. First of all, the cable that they give you that comes off of the box that gets plugged into your outlet or receptacle is extremely, extremely short, um, surprisingly short. So I guess they're assuming that everyone that installs this charge point uh, charger is gonna like install it right either right next to the outlet on the wall or the receptacle on the wall, or they're gonna install. A lot of people, it's gonna be, when they get this car, it's gonna be their first electric car, so they're gonna be installing that, they're gonna have an electrician come out and they're gonna say, I want my charge point here and I want my receptacle here because it's the first time they've ever done it. But we've already had an electric car as I mentioned, and so we already have a receptacle and the Tesla charged at the back of the car, so that's why we had the receptacle here when we installed it, whereas the Volvo charges at the front of the car, which is why I'm mounting this here. So I did have to order some new stuff. Um, so I ordered a, uh, as I mentioned, this won't fit into the receptacle, and I could get an adapter for $60, it was the cheapest I could find one for, that would go from the $1450 to the $650. But um, I also need an extension cable. And in my opinion, I don't want too many uh, 
problem points to be in between the charger and the receptacle where um, a failure could exist or happen. So I ordered a new receptacle uh, that will just be the, the 6-50. So I'll have to turn off the circuit breaker for this and then rewire it um, with the new receptacle and then run an extension cable along the wall here <laughs> as clean as I can. I think it's probably gonna look pretty gross, but at the end of the day, I am gonna be happy having you know, all the, the charging cable stuff right here. That's how it looks, you know, with the charger on there. And then you wrap all that. This excess cable I have on the ground just gets wrapped. There's like a, um, well, I'll just show you. You know, the, this looks bad because I just threw it up there, but it gets wrapped around the top so it looks all clean like a garden hose. And uh, it just looks really nice, I think. Not right there, but when, it's, when you clean it up. So um, that's pretty much it. We're not gonna be able to charge with this today. Um, but I believe the parts that I need are coming by Friday. Today is Wednesday, the day after Christmas. And uh, so I'll probably wait until that stuff gets here and finish the video. Um, you do actually, just so if anyone's watching this, you do need to turn off, they say you need to turn off the circuit breaker when you plug this into the wall for the first time. Uh, I don't know why that you, you, you would need to do that. It's kind of a strange thing to me, but I would just trust them and take that extra time. Um, unplug it, then you plug that guy into the receptacle or the outlet, then you go back and you turn the power back on. Like I said, it's a strange thing to me because of the concept of you know, turning an outlet off just to plug something that seems strange. But I think it's because it's the first time you, it's ever gonna be turned on at your house. There's some diagnostics or something it might need to run. I don't know, I'm just gonna trust them. So uh, anyway, the next video will be me running the extension and plugging into the car and showing that it works. So, uh, uh. all right, so this is the end of the video series with the charge point. And uh, I just finished switching out the receptacle over here and connecting the extension cable. I had shut off the circuit breaker and connected all this stuff. And this is the old, old receptacle. And uh, I double check, tested it with the multimeter, make sure there's no power after I set the electricity off and sloppily ran this extension cable right here along the wall, over here where it meets up with the charge point power plug. And yeah, here it is. Right now we've got the XC90 plugged in with uh, the Volvo cable. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. I'm not sure if it's gonna let me right off right away. There we go. Looks good. Thanks guys.